timeliness is an important consideration. When an article was published can make a lot of difference in how you should use it in an argument. This is especially important in the sciences. Information and technology change so rapidly that citing a source 20 years old might not support your argument today. However, if you're making an argument about something that was going on 20 years ago, then such a source might just be perfect for you. Just remember to be aware of when your source was written. It's also important that you understand the difference between primary sources and secondary sources. Primary sources are original records and come from the time period they're referring to. They often contain first-hand information and come in many forms, such as letters, diaries, memoirs, speeches, interviews, photographs, even movies and audio recordings, for example. They are the raw materials that help us interpret the past. Just because the information is older is no reason not to use it, but you have to be aware of how it will fit into your paper and consider how trends might have changed. A secondary source, on the other hand, is often at least one step removed from the original and more often takes on the role of offering an interpretation and or an analysis of the event. 